hey if you are new here this is chandan and you are watching the learning field so this is the third lecture of our linear programming problem and this lecture series is very helpful for gate examination upcoming gate examination and the any state level set examination and also for the csr net examination okay since the weightage of lpb in the gate examination is very high or very big so we only focused oh, sorry we mainly focused on the gate syllabus and this syllabus is already covered with the csr net syllabus and the any state level set examination syllabus because the syllabus for csr net is too small there are only questions from the graphical method we already covered in this uh, lecture series the graphical method okay so in this lecture we will cover the convex set and the extreme points and the example of convex set extreme points and based on some theorems okay so some theorems based on convex set and the extreme points okay so let's start and before starting i am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel please like the video comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and subscribe the channel okay so let us comes to the definition of convex set okay so what is the convex set and one more thing is that all we have already covered two lectures i will share the link in the description and also here in the i tab okay so you can check those videos also for your reference okay so uh, a subset is from en okay what is en en is the n dimensional euclidean space okay is said to be the convex set if for xy belongs to x this xy means uh, this is a vector with n dimension okay so xy belongs to a such that lambda x plus 1 minus lambda into y belongs to s where 0 less equal to lambda less equal to 1 that is the line segment x and y joining the points x and y in s lies entirely in x that means what these are vectors okay in dimensional points okay the, 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 these are the points in in dimensional euclidean space okay that's why we uh, use this sign here okay so that is the line segment joining x and y joining the two points x and y in uh, s lies entirely in s okay so let us take uh, or let us draw the diagram as follows suppose this is circular uh, disk okay so if we take these two points and joining these two points by a straight line then the straight line lying entirely in that uh, disk or the circle okay so this is an example of a convex set okay similarly if we take any two points inside this uh, i think this is pentagon okay so the line lies entirely on the pentagon okay so that uh, this pentagon and these two points is a convex set on the or inside the this pentagon or in this region okay so these are the examples of convex sets okay and now the which are now which are not the convex set okay suppose this is this type of figure if we uh, take two points this and this and if we join these two points by this type of straight line then we see that this uh, region of the straight line is outside the outside this uh, area okay so this is not a convex set okay suppose if we take uh, this type of example and let us take these two points and if we join these two points by this uh, straight line then we see that the portion some portions of the straight line lies outside this region okay so this is not a convex set okay i think this is clear this is very easy uh, if we uh, see with the figure okay so now let us take an example uh, for example so that let x equal to x1 x2 x3 this is a three dimensional euclidean space okay this x is a point on three dimensional euclidean space okay such that 2x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 less equal to 5 is a convex set okay so what we have to do we have to see, uh, do such that we have to you know, do just take two points and uh, we have to see that if they are linear combinations completely lined inside lying inside this set or not okay this is our work okay has to be which has to be done okay so let us take two points x and y from the three dimensional euclidean space that is from x okay so then if since uh, since x and y are the two points therefore x and y satisfies these conditions which is given in the uh, in the sets okay in the set uh, which is uh, defined above okay so these two are satisfied okay now lambda into x plus 1 minus lambda into y this is equal to uh, this is the x quantity this is the y quantity and this is the z quantity since this is a three dimensional case okay so lambda into x1 plus 1 minus lambda into y1 plus lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into y2 and uh, lambda x3 plus 1 minus lambda into y3 okay so this this is equal to um, this one lambda into 2x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 plus 1 minus lambda into this one and since these two are less equal to 5 therefore uh, this is less equal to 5 lambda plus 1 minus 5 into 1 minus lambda into 5 okay this is equal to 5 that means what 
that means this total linear combination this is less equal to 5 okay therefore this is satisfies the given condition which is in the set so this this condition satisfied for any two points x and y from capital x okay so that <coughs> this is satisfied therefore uh, 0 less equal to lambda less equal to and hence x is a convex set okay so this is complete example of a convex set okay there are various examples in any book of lpp okay so see these examples carefully okay i think uh, in this year that is in gate 2023 my guess is that one question from the convex set will definitely come okay this is my guess just okay so example so that the set uh, x uh, where y square greater or equal to x is not a convex set okay so um, to show whether it is a not a convex set okay so just we have to choose the points any two points from uh, this euclidean space and see whether their linear combination or convex combination uh, the lie on that set or not okay so choose 0 0 and 1 to two points from x okay so that is we have to choose two points such a way that this satisfies this property given property or given condition okay so uh just means so zero square greater equal to zero satisfied and two square greater equal to four into one which is satisfied therefore we can take these two points okay for our uh work okay so for lambda equal to half since zero less equal to lambda less equal to one therefore we choose the value any uh, value uh, in between zero and half okay zero and sorry one okay so for lambda equal to half lambda into 0 plus 1 minus lambda into this point this is equal to 0 0 plus half into 1 2 that is this is equal to half and 2 okay so this is the uh, convex combination okay so uh, but this is not satisfies the y square greater equal to 4x since 1 square does not greater equal to 2 okay so this is not satisfies the given condition therefore this point does not belongs to x okay so that means if we take two points and their the convex combination is not belongs to that set therefore this is not a convex set okay so here we take two examples uh, to see whether one is a convex set and other one is it's not other one is not okay so here is uh, an example this is your homework okay you can definitely comment me in the comment section whether this problem that is the illustrative dx x equal to this one 9 x square plus 4 x square less equal to 30 is, is a convex set or not okay so this is your homework you can check it definitely and comment me in the comment section below okay so now let us take uh, the another definition which is extreme point of a convex set okay uh, a point of a convex set is said to be an extreme point of the set if it does not lie on any line segment joining to other points uh, of the set okay so this is the definition you can read it properly okay uh, the po a point uh, of a convex set is said to be extreme point of the set if it does not lie on any line segment joining two other points of the set okay i think this is clear cut definition okay thus a point x in a convex set s is an extreme point if it cannot be expressed in the form this x equal to that means what that means uh, if we take a point and see uh, and we call that point is a extreme point of the convex set if the point does not expressed in the form of a convex combination of other two points okay so this is the definition and this is the note okay where x1 and x2 are the distinct point of x and 0 less equal to lambda less equal to 1 can say, okay so and uh, so let us take an example 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 are only extreme points of the set s equal to x y belongs to uh, this is the euclidean space of any given the value your second order euclidean space at uh, 0 less equal to x less equal to 1 and 0 less equal to y less equal to 1 see from here we get four points only okay 0 0 0 4 combination of points 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so these four are the only extreme point of this set okay so this is the example now let us take an another example find the extreme points if any of the following set s equal to x y belongs to uh, e2 such that mod of x uh, less equal to 1 and mod of y less equal to 1 so see these two conditions we must know that 0 mod x less equal to 1 means minus 1 less equal to x less equal to 1 and minus y less equal to y less equal to 1 therefore in this case also we have four combination of points okay so for the four combination of points are 1 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 and 1 uh, sorry minus 1 minus 1 and 
1 minus 1. Okay. So, these four are only the extreme points of the given problem. Okay. In the given region. Okay. So, these are the extreme points. Okay. I think this is clear. The four vertices, there are four extreme points of the set S. Okay. This is the example of another uh, extreme points. Okay. Now, let us come to some theorem uh, including the convex set and the extreme points. Okay. So, based on these two topics, uh, there are some theorems. So, theorem number one says that every extreme point of the convex set of all feasible solutions of the system of equations Ax equal to B corresponds a basic feasible solution. Okay. That means what? That means every extreme point and extreme point of the convex set, convex set ka jo extreme points hoga of all feasible solutions of the system. Uh, convex set ka jo solution hoga feasible solution, wo kya imply karega? Basic feasible solutions ko imply karega. Thik? This is the theorem. And the second theorem is that uh, a basic feasible solution of the system of equations ax equal to b or x greater equal to 0 corresponds to an extreme point of the convex set of feasible solutions okay so this is another theorem a basic feasible solution of the system so basic feasible solution hoga koi ek system ka to kya hoga corresponds to an extreme point jo solution hoga wo extreme points bhi hoga us convex uh, set ka okay so this is the theorem and the another one is uh, the objective function of the lpp attains its optimal value if exists at an extreme point of the convex set of feasible solution that means what that means kya hoga yahan pe jo hoga objective functions of an lpp uh, attains its optimal value if exist at an extreme point of the convex set of feasible solution ye hoga iska so this is the these are the important theorem there are many theorems in this uh, portion and there are many other definitions also like hyperplane supporting hyperplane this uh, types of uh, definitions hey yeah but uh, we take only the important parts uh, which are uh, given in the gate syllabus and i think these are the only important parts okay remaining are important and if, if you can uh, if you are uh, interested in that topics also then in comment me in the comment section i will take a class separate class on that definitions and examples of the uh, uh, of this of those topics okay so in this video this is a content this is a small content okay so if the video is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel okay thank you see you again in the next video